Hey, what up, Maestro? How you doing this evening, man? Hope you're doing well. So I don't actually have a name for this stream, and that is mainly because I honestly don't know what I'm going to be doing with this stream. Not 100% sure what we should be playing. That's what I'm going to try and figure out. I don't know if I want to play some more Risk of Rain. I don't know if I want to start a new build on Path of Exile. Not really feeling Path of Exile, however, tonight. And we've got Pal World, we've got Deep Rock, and then I've got an entire library full of games that we could potentially choose from. It's just a case of like, not 100% sure what we're actually planning on doing tonight. So I thought, let's start the stream. Let's have a little bit of a chat. Let's talk some shit. And then figure it out from there. Yep, mine's close to that. Uh, mine is on... Let me just double check here. Okay, I've only got 121, so goddamn. I thought it was like closer to 200 than what I was, but no. Mine's only got 121. And it's a mix of everything. It's something stupid from like 911 operator. I've got Skyrim. I've got that BPM bullets per minute. There's Borderlands. Ooh, Borderlands might be an idea. It's 126 gigs that will need to be downloaded, but I'll do that in about... 30 minutes, if that. Yeah, I've also, I bought a fuck ton of games during like summer sales, Steam sales, all that kind of stuff, but never actually played a lot of the games. Borderlands would be fun. Okay, Borderlands is something I would definitely have to like plan maybe for tomorrow night or the night after because I would have to install 126 gigs. I don't just want you guys to sit here while I'm waiting for a game to uh, install. Uh, something smaller would be easy. Um, we got Hades. Don't know if you guys have ever played Hades. Yeah, Borderlands Three. Yeah, it'll definitely be Borderlands Three. Yeah, definitely. I haven't played that game in forever and a day, so I don't know if I'm going to want to start the stream off with it being something simple. Uh, just doing it solo for now, and then switch over to um, co-op with you at a later date, or if it's going to be co-op straight from the beginning. I'll have to figure that part out, but now I'm definitely up for it. And sorry for missing out the last uh, two streams. Yeah, things that work for the last two days have been ridiculous ridiculously busy busy got some deadlines coming up that we're trying to push for so yeah just hectic at the moment but i should be back to some normal normality from this point onwards might be one or two nights next week that i'm gonna have to miss as well but we'll plan as we go Okay. Okay, sweet. Yeah, and like like the issue with the Discord, like I don't know what quite the issue over there is. Because I mean, I've gone into the settings and I've had a look at the permissions and I've set it, it's not a private channel and I've set it so that everybody can view the channel. You just can't manage it. Send messages, no, attach files. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at what's wrong with the permissions on that because it shouldn't be a private channel, so. We'll definitely have to get that figured out. So I think tonight, just so we don't sit here for too long, I think I'm just going to play some more Risk of Rain for this evening. So let me just update the stream and the details of the stream. Um...
which is get the classification category scroll scroll right to there we go okay the streams details have been updated so it now should be called something else what we can do in the meantime okay we can at least switch this over to the main game for now and i think that's definitely something we can do um i'll download borderlands tonight and then that's something we can hit nice and hard tomorrow Okay, in the meantime, while that is going, I quickly need to just send out the normal notification saying I've gone live, etc, etc, etc. Let's just do this. I don't know what the hell is going on with my um with my uh twitch link because i'll take it from my home page it's not on a video or something but for some reason my twitch will always say whenever i post a link to my channel it always says risk of rain too and i don't know why it's doing that and i think that might be fucking with some details because i think some people are streaming a, some people might be thinking that i'm streaming a game that i definitely ain't streaming That's definitely something I'm going to have to try and look into and find out what the hell it's saying that. Okay, now that that's been done, let's just drag this off to the side. We should be good to go so i don't know if i told you guys last time this character the engineer this game makes the game trivial in a massive sense yeah i'm about to show you why that the engineer just makes this ridiculously easy like it's stupid how easy it makes it so we're gonna play rainstorm which is the normal difficulty we're going to turn on two artifacts because I actually ended up getting an artifact in the last stream. The first artifact is the artif um, artifact of command. And then artifact of sacrifice. Now, there is one more artifact that I'm going to try and get this run. And that is the artifact of where there's double the amount of enemies, but they all have half health. And this artifact, the artifact of sacrifice, monsters drop the items on death. So there will no longer be chests that I have to run around for and try and find. I just need to kill shit. As I kill shit, they will automatically drop stuff. So that is the only two things we're going to run. And then I'm going to try and get one more artifact. That's the one I just mentioned. So before we climb into that, I want to do the usuals, get them out of the way, and then we'll get straight into it. Good evening, Raj. So we'll do the normal formalities, get that out of the way, and then we'll head straight into it. So welcome to the stream, everybody. Hope you're all having a lovely day and or evening, depending on where you're from. Tonight, we're going to be hitting some risk of rain, too. Uh, it's not really a planned stream. It's more so just a filler. Of course, tomorrow, we're going to be kicking off with Borderlands 3. And I've got Maestro in the chat, who's probably going to be end up playing some co-op with me on Borderlands 3. We're still going to iron out the details on that, but that's the plan, at least. So, if you are new to the stream, uh, you can find all of my past live streams posted to my YouTube channel, which you can go show some love and support for. And I'm also going to ask that you reach out on your own social media platforms. Help spread the word and let's help grow this channel a little bit. I really would appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, we're running the engineer on rainstorm difficulty with both artifacts activated. I hope the stream's actually running at good quality. If 
So the problem with the engineer initially is it is ridiculously slow. But we can fix that relatively quickly. Like always, the bolt can start off a little bit slow, but we'll get there very quickly. But you are going to see that the playstyle of the engineer is ridiculously slow. Let's actually end up moving one of the turrets to here. And remember what I said in the past, all of the upgrades that I get will apply to my turrets as well. I just need to replace the turret for it to get the most updated just got off a 13 hour shift at work so i'm looking forward to three days off now dude this week for me has also been an absolute fucking mess like i'm actually looking forward to this weekend like just some actual rest got nothing planned got nothing on the schedule <laughs> nothing So the only thing is, with this artifact that I've got on, there's no real need or purpose for me to run around. Because all of the enemies technically are what drop the loot. Sounds like a 24 hour stream name, god damn. Like, let's wait for me to grow a little bit. <laughs> let's grow a little bit in size followers and all that before we think about hitting a 24 hour stream. But I think once we set a goal. So let's say, for example, once we get to 100 followers, then I'll end up doing like a 24 hour stream. Uh, so let's get some uh, let's get some attack speed going first. Already found the portal, so that's a win. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up at the portal, and we'll just take it from there. Okay, so another monster has dropped. put down the second turret let's grab this and let's start grabbing some bleed I'm wondering if this is going to be the best idea so this is the um, shine of the mountain so this is going to make it so there's either double or triple the amount of bosses that spawn 24 hour affiliation celebration that'll actually be pretty awesome That'll actually be awesome. Once we hit that affiliation, um, we'll do a 24-hour stream. That's the goal. We just got to get those viewer averages up, and then we just got to get the followers out there. Uh, so first things first, let's grab a ukulele. Okay, I'm going to activate this, but it's probably going to mean the death of me. That'll only, that'll only take into effect once we actually start the, um, the teleport event. Now, one of the side effects is that these turrets are potentially going to kill things far away. So I might not see the, the drops. The engineer starts off a little bit boring, very much so, especially because it's slow. But it does end up getting a little bit more interesting. But you are right. Compared to something else like the um, Huntress or um, the uh, Railgunner, it's, it is a lot because your turrets are doing all the work. So normally if you're running this co-op, you definitely want an engineer in the run. Because I'll show you now with the very next upgrade. What makes it completely OP.
And that is this right here. The bustling fungus. So heal all nearby enemies after standing still. Your turrets are always standing still. So if I put down new turrets, one there, one there, my turrets have always got a healing circle. If I stand between them, I get constant healing. Yeah, the first Risk of Rain was a side-on uh, platform almost. Same weapons, same um, classes. They just turned this into a 3D game. And it looks a lot better than the first one. And then they remastered the first one back to the original side-scrolling. Now, obviously, people love the original. But this game is phenomenal, especially when you start running with all the artifacts. So I think I want to grab one more upgrade, and that's probably going to be an attack speed. Once the attack speed is up and running, we'll do the encounter, and we'll move on to the next level. You know what, let's grab another repair gun, gunner as well. So now we've got a, another gunner, but that's you can pick up with any class. I'm just waiting for one more drop. What does the quality of the stream look like? My bitrate says we're dropping pretty low. It shouldn't be. I just want to check this quickly. Okay, no, my bitrate is still running at 6,400 kilobytes per second. So now I'm still meeting very much so the requirements of what a stream needs. And you see, money at this point also becomes irrelevant because now I don't need to. Knight, Prime, Dickhead, Arsel, um, Stranger Danger, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> I don't really have a preference, but Knight works. You know what, fuck, let's see if with what we've got, if we can start the teleporter event. I just want to get some distance and maybe get lucky from these guys see if they drop anything anything nothing I don't see that anything dropped okay so we'll just put the one turret here cover with a second turret oh wait just my luck there drops one, and that's exactly what we want, because we want attack speed, and then there's a lunar coin down here. So I am potentially going to try and switch to the glass cannon build on this. But yeah. Mr. Chubbs, if you wish. Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so that's done. Let's put down the first turret, just with the updated attack speed. I can't put on the second one yet, so we're just going to say fuck it and roll with what we got. Let's see how many bosses spawn. I probably fucked up doing this. Let's see if we die. No, there's only two of them. Ooh, I'm dying. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Got 26 health. I'm gonna die. God damn. I need to get to one of my turrets. And I died. So that is one of the dangers of running the... Um, ah, the mountain. It's okay. We'll just run it again. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. And let's see what we can do with this. That's the, that's the shit thing with the Risk of Rain. You're either going to have a great run or your run's going to die relatively soon. I've noticed there is no real in-between. You either get to the point where it works or it just doesn't work. Yep, then you start off 100% again, and you've got nothing to your name. We'll grab the ukulele. Oh, 
yeah and sadly unfortunately the engineer is very slow until i've got like three or four um hooves on Okay, so I already know where the teleporter is. Teleporter's up there. There's the particles. So the way it normally works, uh, Roswally, is that you don't get to choose what you get when an I when a monster drops an item or when you get hold of a chest. You normally don't get to choose what you get. Um, the only reason why I get to choose what I got right now... So normally, one of these random items would, would drop. The only reason why I'm able to select something now is because... Um, one of the artifacts that I'm running is the Artifact of Command. So you'll see in the top right, underneath Easy, there's two symbols there. One of those symbols is the Artifact of Command that allows me to choose the items that I've got. And the Artifact, uh, the other one is the Artifact of Sacrifice, which means there's no longer chests that I have to look for to try and get upgrades. I just have to kill monsters because they will randomly start dropping them. Now that works massively oh, see, i guess that's where the rng comes in under normal yeah that's where the rng comes in under normal circumstances under normal circumstances it's a lot harder right now i can control every aspect of the build as to what i'm going to select what i want to go for first normally you don't have that at all so the thing is right now what makes it difficult is that not every single monster is going to drop an item for me to select it's only going to be every monster now and then so that's what becomes the rng um, and right now where there's so few uh, enemies, it's also going to be difficult because I won't get a lot of choices or chances. But as we move through the stages and there's more enemies that spawn and the shit gets a lot more hectic, I can imagine the tempo at which we upgrade is going to be a lot more. So Maestro, what are you running this evening? Are you still saying playing some PoE or are you just relaxing, especially after you said the day that you had? So one of the first things we want our attack speed. I think before I the move into the next mission, I'm going to want one more attack speed, which I can get up there, and then at least two bleeds. And maybe a gasoline. Okay, let's grab the gasoline first. Oh, uh, Maestro, so I was thinking, I'm going to do about two or three streams, maybe four streams that are not going to cover PoE. But then after that, I'm thinking of going back to PoE, but then trying that seismic build. What you thinking? I think I'm going to take this fight to the top where the teleporter event is and then stick around there, get at least two crits in and then... Activate one of those, stay out of the bubble. Grab that, which is a Will of the Wisp. Another one of these. Let's grab some bleed. Now, everything that I just picked up, the Will of the Wisp and the bleed, does not apply to these sentry guns. I will have to re-put down the sentry guns for the upgrades to apply. So, at least one more bleed. There we go. And we are good to go. This should be more than enough to fight the first boss. So, let's put down 
the first one i've got to wait 17 seconds then i can put down the second one and then we'll do the encounter and then move on to the next stage If I get anything in that next 10 sec, okay, beautiful. There we go. Second one is down. Start the event. The boss should melt relatively quickly. There we go. Boss is dead. We'll grab the one random upgrade that we get. And I definitely want dealing damage heals you. Because obviously now, with the sentry guns and myself... You can imagine the kind of healing I'm going to be getting out of that. Bookworm collector and monsters or environmental logs. Okay. So that's a new... Was that a, was that orange or yellow, that item? I think it was orange. If it's orange, it's a new utility. If it was red, it's a new legendary. And I'll only be able to access that next round. So now we just gotta wait for the teleporter to charge and then we can move on. So as you can see, eventually it starts becoming pretty OP because I just sit here and I don't do shit and the sentry gun just take care of everything. Ah, uh, hold on. There is something I'm going to try and do within this run. I'm going to go back to the drop pod quickly. I'm going to grab the thing off the back of the drop pod. We're going to see if we can't maybe unlock one of the characters. Because one of the characters that you need to unlock is you need to grab the cell that's on the back of that um on the back of the drop pod and then carry it through to one of the missions now there's no guarantee in which all of those missions are going to pop up so you just got to carry it for as long as you can go to the top and then you'll get the survivor the next time you die so we need that the fuel array now the problem is with us carrying the fuel array we can't actually um carry a utility so no minigun, no rockets, no black hole, nothing. Yeah, so this game has got a basis a lot like Vampire Survivor and that survival... Um, Soul Survivor? Soulstone Survivor? Just, obviously, 3D. But it does become just as hectic after a while. So next couple of upgrades, I'm definitely going to focus on movement speed because my ass is slow. And that means this one is going to get a hoof. And now we move to the next area. Okay, that's going to be a bit problematic because i got to run in there to put the turrets down. But they should be good. Should be a nice little way for us to start. It really is a fun game, and I would definitely suggest getting it on um, on sale. And I would definitely suggest that if you are going to start off with it, start off with it without the Artifact or Command. Well, you won't have it straight off the beginning. It's something you'll have to get after or, um, reaching a certain level. And there's a certain command that has to be put in to get it. But in, enjoy the game how it was meant to be played with the RNG. Okay, so the next up couple of upgrades is going to mostly focus on lead and attack speed. After that, we'll move on to um, critical chance and then damage to enemies at above 90%. Now, because I'm carrying the cell on my back, normally I would go up to one of these to sacrifice 50% of my health and then get a pretty nice upgrade. 
we ain't gonna do that because if I do that with the cell on my back, it makes the cell unstable, it becomes a ticking time bomb, and then it blows up and it kills me. So it'll end my run if I do that. Uh, while we're staring around, I need to find the actual teleporter. And normally, if it's not on this side of the map, it's normally all the way up there. But let's just look for the particles and see if we can find it. There's the particles. It's down there. Okay, we'll start making our way that way. I actually saw we went up to five viewers this round. Starting off pretty strong this evening. Oh, and those that you are, those of you that are interested, my Twitter and my YouTube are linked uh, below, as well as the Discord. So, just like I mentioned earlier, try and reach it out on your own social medias. Try to spread the word. Let's try to get this community to grow a little bit. It would mean a lot. And this is unfortunately one of the things that also makes it slow. With us turning, getting rid of all the chests and making it the monsters, we unfortunately have to wait for monsters to spawn. So this is why you would normally want the artifacts. Um, fuck, what's the name of it now? I'll have to double check. But it's the artifact that makes it double enemies, half health, because then there's more to shoot, meaning more drops. And we've got some mines down, and we're good. So, one of the upgrades you can actually get for the turrets is the turrets actually move around. So, it's either they're stationary, or they run around with you. I think. Or am I thinking of the Procalactic? I might have my facts wrong there. I'll just double check, but I think you can actually get them. Because um, you've got a primary and a secondary to everything. Your primary attack can be something else, your secondary attack can be something else. But I think you can actually, I think you can make it so they can walk around. I just want to turn the sound of the music down a bit, a bit loud in my ear holes. Maestro, where's JJ this evening? No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> so this sucks. We got a utility drop. So either a black hole or a rocket launcher or a minigun. Can't take any one of them because they will replace the item on our back at the moment. So you know what? I'm going to just start the event. We haven't got any upgrades this round. So I'm hoping that these can handle the boss. It looks like they're not doing too bad. Ow. 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 Fucking ow. Okay, they're stacking the bleed. If I get caught inside that bubble, I'm dead. Oh yeah, boss dead. That works. Let's grab this. We wanted some more bleed. Because it's all I've apparently got right now. And then we definitely want to start. Um, What's going to do damage for me? Let's grab this. So this means my tank is going to start doing the gasoline. It's going to spread a lot faster. And the burn is going to do more damage. 
We'll do this. We'll grab another bleed. So currently we want 40% bleed. I want one more. Minimum. And now we're finally getting all the drops. Did that drop just... You're fucking joking me. How am I supposed to get that drop? Well, that sucks. See if anything drops nothing dropped let's move on to the next area i don't want to proceed too quickly because i'm gonna end up falling behind on the damage and survivability for that right okay so still not the area that i want and because i hate this area i'm gonna find the teleporter as quickly as i can and set up over there and let everything spawn around me there okay teleporters down that way Oh. Okay, got the teleporter. Let's set up the sentries. Upgrade. Okay, so one more bleed, and then I'm happy on the bleed for now. Okay, we're happy on the bleed. Now we need attack speed, movement speed, and then some more mushrooms. So, attack speed next. remember how to get the doggy i honestly cannot remember how to get the doggy i know there's a couple of characters that i still don't have that i need to reobtain, and one of them is the doggy and i've got no idea i can't remember how to get it jj cool still be working could still be working no fair enough jj cool sorry i can't read for shit tonight that's true Okay, now I've got two of the turrets down. You'll see that they're shooting a lot faster now as well. Okay, let's throw on one more attack speed. Get on at 8.30 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, so it's going to be a late evening for him tomorrow, so it might also be a late evening for him tonight. No, perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, no, it's been a long fucking week. Next week's not going to be any easier. Shit's just getting rough at this point, but... We deal with it, we come home, we cry into a pillow, and we carry on. You know, with the upgrades that I got, with the two additional um, bleeds, with the additional attack speed, I think I'm actually good to start the next boss. It's probably going to be an imp, which is going to suck, but if it is an imp, so what? Um, I'm wondering, is there anything I'm really hoping doesn't spawn? A magma worm. Okay. Let's see if there's any drops. No drops. Okay, let's start the boss fight. Oh, it wasn't an imp. Okay, boss is dead. And that's why this build gets so OP so quickly. So we're going to add another ukulele, so there's a more chance for the damage to spread.
Okay, we've got another drop. We definitely are now going to start wanting to go in the other direction. So I want to grab one more movement speed. So the is a bit faster. Uh, I'm really hoping the next area takes us to the lava area, the lava map. I know by stage 7 or 8, we will almost guaranteed every single time go to the same place. But that's because that's how you encounter technically the end game boss. Technically. But I don't like the end game fight. It's not really that interesting. This is exactly where I want it to be. Okay, let's quickly go and see if I can't unlock the character. Um... If I remember this correctly. There's a possibility I have completely fucked this up. But as far as I know. Kill that thing please. I can't deal with that shit right now. I need to be here. Yes. Repair. Okay. I have now got the bug plant. So I'll be able to play as that little bug plant. Next time we run through here. Yeah. I have done exactly what I wanted to. Now we never have to carry that cell ever again. Okay, so I, my ass is going to go down. Put that there. Let's do that. As we can see, the one turret is struggling a little bit. That's okay. We'll get it there. We'll get it better. We'll get it stronger. Hey, welcome to the stream, everybody. Don't be shy. Say hi. Let me know you're here. All are welcome. I want that. We're going to go for one more attack speed upgrade. And then we're going to start on the criticals as well. But I do want to get down because I don't want to keep fighting up here. I don't want to make a stupid move and jump off and you know, fuck it. I'll survive. I should survive. I survived. Now we also want to stick around inside here for a bit because in here we can get one guaranteed legendary. So let's start with the criticals. Start with another critical. Let's go see how much the legendary costs. Mm, 1600 I can already afford it lovely so legendary we are going to grab the fuck let's grab the bazooka turns all of my uh, attacks into exploding attacks so now if I put down the next round of sentries they're gonna have exploding rounds okay then while that's busy let's try and find the teleporter look for the, the particles now, there's particles over here, but I don't know if that's just the map, or if that's actually... Oh, looks like that's actually part of the map. So, I don't actually know... There we go, found the teleporter. Off in the distance. So, we're going to go set up over there, get about three or four more upgrades. Start this fight. Start that fight, and now you'll see all rounds explode. There we go, done and dusted. Now we grab that, we'll grab another crit. Now up to 30% crit chance. We are looking good. Now 
Now those things are bitches because they plant themselves in the ground and they just lob shit at you from a distance. So I think to cover my own ass, I'm going to put one sentry there, one sentry down here. And then I do have the shield if I need it. If I really want to, I can start spending all this fucking money that I've got on picking up random turrets all around us. So for example, oh, never mind, I thought there was a... That's more money. And I'm going to give it like another 60 seconds. If nothing has dropped anything further for me, I'm just going to start the event. Especially with the bazooka that we've got. What was it called? Uh, the behemoth. Especially with the behemoth and the critical chance that we've got. We should be able to handle the boss pretty easy. But I'm just glad that I was able to drop off that cell. So now we've got another character. I just need to figure out again how we unlock the rest of the characters. Yeah, I think it's been about 60 seconds. Let's uh, start the teleporter event. Let's get a fight going. Let's see how quickly this dies. And the boss is dead. Nice. And now we're going to grab another Will of the Wisps. Now we've got two Will of the Wisps and two... Um, what are they called? Ukuleles. So on death, enemies will explode more frequently now, and I'll have more of a guaranteed chance of the damage that I apply to one enemy spreading to others. Which on something like Gasoline and Will-O-The-Wisp is good. So we're going to start chaining all the enemies together. They're going to start killing each other more though. Ooh, green one. Uh, from this, we're going to grab a feather. The feather just allows me to have a double jump. The more feathers I have, the more double jumps I get. Okay, on to the next one. And there we go. Now, probably the same as always, I'm just going to take the character to obliteration so that I can restart with a different character and then see what I need to do. But hopefully, I can also quickly Google what the... Okay, so this is the map that I need to Google what the next command is that I need. Because the command that I want is the double enemies half health. There's a good chance I just killed myself. I'm going to let my toads just do the work. I'm going to get out of there. Okay, let's grab some more health while killing. And let's grab some more critical strike chance. So now, crit is up to 40. I am dying. I need to stand still quickly and heal. Crit is up to 40%. Bleed is up to 50%. I need to focus on more gasolines and then attack speed. And my turrets are actually dying. That's interesting. Let's put that down. Let's grab this. We definitely want a... Let's grab these shurikens. And to get out of this again. And just standing still heals me. That's why Engineer is so powerful. Now, if I'm surrounded by my turrets, I'm going to heal three times as fast. Why all so quiet this evening? What am I missing? Oh, great. So I just got knocked off. Well, fuck you too, then. That was bullshit. A fucking rock bumped me off. 
And then when I spawned back on land, take fifty percent damage. I had one health, and then another rock hit me, and I died. I call bullshit on that, but it's okay. Character's done and dusted. So now we have got this little doggo-looking thing. Focuses one hundred percent on poison. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to turn off the chat so you guys can see. Those are the base skills. Actually, let me just let me just do this. Uh, chat overlay. Let me just bring the chat overlay a little bit down. No, that's not going to work either. Putting it in the center of the screen ain't going to help. I think I'll just move it to there. Unfortunately, it means you're not going to much see what the details are of it, but you'll be able to see what I want you to see. So, we obviously, we've got the commander that we started with. We've got the huntress. We've now got this lovely gentleman. We picked up multi as well. Multi can be pretty cool as well. The engineer, which I've been running, which I'm a big fan of. And then we've got the melee character, this Rex, and then the rail gunner. Now, there's still five more characters we need to get. One of my personal favorites is this one. It's like a mage that balances fire and ice. It's pretty fucking cool. But I need to free the survivor from the... Free the survivor suspended in time. I can't remember how to get that. And then this one is defeat the unique guardian of Siren's Call. Don't know what that one is either. Stabilize the cell in the void fields. Can't remember how to get that either. <laughs> Escape the moon. Escape the moon. Can't remember how to do that either. And then escape the planetarium or complete wave 50 in the simulacrum. Mm, so that means I'm potentially going to have to go to here. Alternate game modes. Simulacrum. And then try and survive 50 waves. I can't remember what the simulacrum was, so we're quickly going to jump in here, see what the hell this is about. I'm going to grab the character that I like the, mo the most out of the ones that I've got, which is the rail gunner. And let's see what it does. We are going to turn off the artifact of sacrifice, but we're going to keep the artifact of command on. And let's ready this shit up. Oh, that's this place. Oh, fuck off. Uh... Can't remember what we have to do here. I think we're looking for another bubble like this to be able to pop and charge. Or we're literally just trying to survive waves. And we take damage whenever we're outside one of these bubbles. I can't remember what to do here. Let's quickly go up. See what's upstairs. Anything? Are we just waiting for creatures now? Or what are we doing here? Right, I'm going to try and cheat this. Just so I can get enough for the first upgrade. I'm going to sacrifice 50% of my health. For some cash. And then... Oh my god. That was close. Now my health is going to come up very, very slowly. With this come out of health, I'm probably going to die if I fall down there. Pretty fucking close. Okay, we can at least grab this. And it's a green. Of course it's a fucking green. Um, yeah, let's take the ukulele. Start off with that. I'm not seeing any enemies. And I can't remember how this works. I don't know if we need to go find them or... As far as I'm aware, we were supposed to wait here and then just survive waves. Fuck it. 
and turn around and go inspect. I'm probably gonna die. I just wanna try and remember how the hell this works. Yeah, I'm definitely dying. Let me try that again, see if it wasn't maybe just a glitch. Some Larkham. Activate the Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I am a fucking idiot. I should maybe read the top right that says activate the f Oh fuck, I had to go to the thing and press E. Now we've got to survive the waves. God damn. Ooh. And then get money and start unlocking the chests. I cannot believe I was that stupid. Okay, next wave do we have the cash we still don't have the cash i'm gonna grab this let's increase my bleed thank you and that's why i love this thing so much yeah i'm a fucking idiot i am sorry i have my smart moments and then i have my stupid moments that was definitely one of the stupid ones let's grab the chest We are definitely going to grab some attack speed. Okay, they dropped me another upgrade. We're going to go with some more bleed. And I just need to survive to wave 40 to unlock the next character. So that's the goal. That's what we're going to try and achieve for this evening. Go to wave 40. you can understand in a game mode like this where we're going to basically stay stationary around a single objective how something like the engineer can become overpowered very quickly okay got another upgrade we are definitely going to go with some gasoline start spreading that damage through to the rest of the enemies Exactly, that's it. And the turrets basically provide healing get some healing because i'm taking quite a bit of damage i think i know what my next green update is going to be they just need to give me a green if they can give me a green i am good uh but for now i think let's pick up a first they can receive delayed after taking damage a ukulele right now would be amazing chest around you somewhere so the gasoline is definitely helping JJ good evening good sir
Okay, getting to wave um, 40 might be a little bit harder than I thought. There we go, first green. Okay, so green that I definitely need to go for is this. Deal damage um, heals you. That's going to save my ass massively. And now I need to follow this thing because this ass is going to move away. Bitch. But I think after this it also provides me a respite. Meaning I might be able to chill a little bit while it's moving. Because i got cash. And run to some of these chests. Grab some more bleeding. And then just catch up to it again. Oh, fucking come back here. God damn, okay. So let's not do that again. How are you doing this evening, JJ? How was work? Oh, I actually need to maybe... I'm just going to do this quickly because I kind of forgot to keep this up. Um, so that I can actually see what happens with follows and likes and all that kind of stuff. Sweetness. Oh, lovely. There's a chest right here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab some more attack speed. Grab the next one. Grab some more attack speed. Okay. Are you going to automatically start? No, you don't start automatically. That's lovely. Okay, I don't have the cash to start another one, so... We're going to start it myself. I love the sniping with this rail gun. It is so fucking good. And I'm good, thanks, JJ. I'm doing pretty well in yourself. I hope you're having a good evening. I hope the day wasn't too hectic. Okay, we're going to grab another gasoline. Let that shit spread. And then we're definitely grabbing another bleed. Okay, so up to 40% bleed. I think it's 15% per injection. So we should be up to almost... What? 75% increase in speed. The gasoline is spreading nicely. We now just need some more green upgrades. All good. Yeah, working all weekend though. That sucks, man. That really, really sucks. Uh, Masha told me you're working until half eight tomorrow night. Monday can't come soon enough. How long you got off coming Monday? I'll be getting like at least a good couple of days of rest. Okay, what do we need next? We definitely need to start looking at... Let's start with crit damage. So our goal for this evening, JJ, is to try and get to wave uh, 40 on this mode. So we can unlock a specific character. A character that I don't recognize. I don't think I've ever used the character. Yeah, let's just keep going for that critical. We need something that can do the damage and chance for the damage and then we'll focus on heals after it. Try not to die. That's the most important. And knowing my luck, as you know, I'm probably not going to do it. I'm probably going to die some stupid way. Probably self-inflicted. You know how it goes. <laughs> and I'm going to get judged by you and Maestro. One thing I do want to do, seeing that I was able to pay for it, is I want to definitely grab the orange, grab the missile launcher, and now we're good to go. Grab another yellow, grab some more crit.
I just need everything to start dying. Now that should be taken care of by the gasoline. A will of the wisp or a ukulele will do good right now. There we go, there we go. Things are looking good, things are looking good. We're paying attention. Yes, there's a green. I am definitely going for a Will-O-The-Wisp. That's just going to make it so that when any enemy that dies explodes, hopefully dealing more damage to the side of it. Um, What does this do? Enter the infinite portal. No. I don't think I want to do that. Enter the portal. Oh, I have to. Never mind. I don't have a choice. My ass really needs to start reading. On to the next area. Oh, God. All right. Let's start the event. Ain't no time like the present. Fuck, we're getting money slowly. There we go. Uh, let's grab this to heal me when I'm standing still. We can't afford that. Not your ass, your eyes. Hey, what did I say? Allies deal 500% more damage. Wait, I missed. What, what read it on the screen? Can somebody like clip it and tell me what it said on the screen? I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Why do I only have 38 health? What the fuck just happened to me? I need this more than anything else right now. Oh my god, what is happening? Why do I only have 38 health? Spawn a random equipment that changes every time it's activated. I've got all the missiles flying around right now. Okay, I got my health back. What the fuck happened there? God damn. something decent i need that crit damage to go up some more i need that bleed damage to go up and i need to start pumping out that speed and that's why gasoline and will in the wisp is so powerful because it spreads so quickly to other enemies How are we looking? How are we looking? There's a chest over here, but I don't know how much the chest costs. I think it's going to be expensive. You can die. Ow. It's uh, 129. Okay, so it's going to be a while before I can afford that. Ah, there's an upgrade over there. I'll grab that instead. Um, attack speed. Enemies are stronger and more numerous. Oh, fucking lovely.
No. Okay, do I die? Do I die? Do I die? Do I die? I want three health. Three health. I'm dead. Falling off fucked me. Monster log, the blind villain. Well, that sucks ass. Okay, well now we know. There's only one class for this. There's only one class for this. Engineer. Engineer is the way to go. So, put down one turret. Put down another turret and start the event. Let's see how this goes. The very first upgrade we get for the turrets is pretty straightforward and simple. The one that makes it so that we end up being god tier. After getting like four of them. I have to run to the top now. Oh, actually, they're good. I thought it was one of those those explodey bully dudes. Yeah, we've got a new face in uh, chat, JJ. One enemy remaining, and he's dying over there somewhere. Okay, so the very first thing and the only thing we want is like four of these and we'll be good. The reason for that is, put this down, put that down. We've got unlimited healing. Now we just need to stack them, make it more powerful. And we've got a shield. Now we just need to get the bleed up, the attack speed. I'm not even worried about movement speed because, I mean, we ain't exactly moving around anywhere, so I ain't going to waste any cash on it. But attack speed, 100%. These sentries need to be pew-pewing a lot fast faster. I really have to run to the top now. I'm going to try and coax these fuckers down. Oh, they're coming. So, JJ, guess what we are starting to stream tomorrow night? And the only reason it's tomorrow night is because it's 136 gigs that I need to download tonight quickly. Focus be wait, 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 what? Why is this becoming smaller? Oh, next wave. Well, that explains a little bit. Not a lot, though, but somewhat. And that's a shit thing with a spawn like we've got right now. Oh, hold on. 
is that a lot of enemies end up spawning on top of that cliff and they end up killing themselves in the shadows. They don't end up actually coming down here. Which is bad for me. Because then I've got to sit around and wait. But hopefully the enemies will start picking up a lot faster, they'll start dying a lot quicker. And we can move our shit along. I've got three enemies remaining and most of them are up there, so let's see if I can't get to them and deal with them myself. Is about to start. Let's go down, correct my ward, and then what should we go with? Let's start with the attack, with the bleed as well. It's gonna be very slow in the beginning, very, very slow, but it's okay, it'll get faster, definitely. An engineer is the best to do this for. I can't see how any other class would be better for this. We've got to stay in one position. We've got to defend waves. And I've got turrets that mimic everything I pick up. And I've got a shield. item and I think right now we're just going to stack bleed and attack speed enemy is stronger and more numerous that's perfectly fine we've got a nice little bubble to hide in in four seconds we'll have a nice little bubble to hide in there we go and now we don't have to worry Well, that's just unfucking necessary. How are you here so early? Thank you. I don't see any chests within the circle of mine. I should maybe stop looking for chests because the upgrades seem to be coming in very, very slowly. Now, there's a chest just out of range over there. I'm going to risk it, see if I can get it. I'm hurting, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. It's okay, I'm gonna do that. Grab attack speed. Fucking lost half of my health just trying to get that. That was ridiculous. And watch, now some enemies gonna spawn on my ass and it's gonna fucking like one tap me. Oh yeah. Okay, that guy's done. Oh, we've got a green. Lovely. Well, the green, definitely 100% uh, ukulele. And I want to get the follow Mr. Jellyfish around. So, ladies and gentlemen, if we are able to maintain five viewers tonight, I think we need to raid somebody. Just so that we can get some exposure out there. Maybe attack. Uh, raid. Uh, attack. God, that sounds so horrible. Maybe raid someone else that's a little bit smaller. Maybe bring some views to them. But we need to maintain at least about a 5 to 6, maybe 7 viewer average. But it's looking good tonight. I'm enjoying how many people are in here. So I'm going to spend a... On that because... Fuck, I get it. I never mind. I'm going to ignore all of those. Um, how much does this chest cost? Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. 
I want some more. Actually, let's go with gasoline. Gasoline is going to start being good for us. Okay. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. Let's start that. Put the shield down. I think we've maintained the highest amount of viewers this evening as that we've ever had. So thank you very much for the love. I really appreciate it. If you can help spread the word, it would really mean a lot. We're going to go for more attack speed because right now just stacking the elements that we've got is going to be the most important thing. So the more attack speed we've got, the faster we can stack the bleed, the faster we can do crit damage, and the more we can get the gasoline and the will-o-wisp and the ukulele out there. That's what's going to keep us alive. And then maybe get one or two more funguses, just so that the funguses actually keep us alive in case we do take a few hits. There's the next one. More attack speed. I'm going to grab, like, two more attack speeds. And then after that, we'll... I don't know. And after that, we'll start moving some more into the bleed, because currently we've only got a 20%. There's some chests down there, but I don't know how quickly I can get back up if I fuck it. Nah, it shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go grab these chests. I should have the cash for it, or at least one. Uh, 25. I'm going to put down one turret over here just to cover my ass a bit. Attack speed. I've now got the 30. And let's grab some more bleed. So I kind of put them down in a shit spot, but they were panic places. Raj, JJ, can one of you guys just give me feedback on what the stream is looking like? Is it looking good? There's no lag, there's no delay, the quality is still good. Because my OBS is telling me the bitrate is at about 6,000, which is good. But my Twitch is telling me that it's it's lacking a little bit. So I just want to make sure we're good. really wonder why that's happening. Mm, check that my computer isn't doing some kind of fucking update. Now is that frame drops in the stream or a potential frame drop on your side? Oh, okay. No, fair enough. No, I just want to make sure that we ain't dropping anyway. That viewing experience is good otherwise. I'm glad to hear it. Glad you're enjoying it. That's why I exist. All fine looking for me. That's good. And that's why I exist. To try and make sure that the viewing pleasure for all of you guys is good. Two or three more enemies left. Let's define out where the fuck they are. There we go, there's two. And 
la vez. Okay, so we definitely going through the portal. This is the part that fucked us last time. So hopefully this time we ain't gonna be so dead so quick. We're definitely getting the tank because we've got two gasolines. Uh, fuck, hopefully that's good. What you busy? Uh, what are you busy doing, Jaja? You busy playing something or are you just chilling? I want to test something, but it's only going to be able to test it once I've got a legendary. I think there might be a way for me to put down a third turret. Might. It's 100% hearsay at this point. I just need to test it and see if it actually works. So I think let's start grabbing some crit damage. Random equipment that changes. I'm not using any equipment, so... Uh -huh. Okay, so that costs 64. This one should be more expensive because it's a green chest. Yeah, it's 77. There's another chest down there. So there's three to four chests around me. This one was 64. Got it. Grab some more attack speed. I think to save my ass a little bit better, we're going to grab the other fungus. That's going to be for the turrets. Let's put down the new ones. So they're healing me faster, and they're going to start shooting a lot faster as well. Now we need to focus on some crit damage and some bleed damage, and then... Don't really know what else we're going to grab besides that. I think we just want to try and stack as much of this as we can. I would like a crown, which is a uh, a blue drop, because that makes me get money per damage that I deal. Let's grab another crit. No special weird modifiers. No, nope, seems pretty straightforward. Okay, I should have enough cash to grab this one as well. 77. Yep. Looking good on that. Grab another crit. Okay, so we're up to 30% crit, 40% bleed. So I think let's grab two more bleed. Three more crit. And then we start focusing on more speed. Okay, there's my 50% bleed. Enemies are stronger and more numerous. Damn it. Run. Run for safety. Okay. Well, that went a lot better than I thought. Yeah, these turrets are insane. Hopefully we can get to the way 40 so that we can actually get that character. Like I said, I don't think it's a character I've ever used before, so... It'll be interesting to see what it actually does. I think while the wave finishes off on that, I'm going to run into the damage over here. To grab this chest. Make it simple, don't think about it, just... Attack them. Attack speed. And that's the part that's scary, because my health dropped so low, one thing hits me now, and I'm gonna fucking feel it. So we are definitely grabbing another ukulele, just 
to spread the damage a lot faster. And now we follow the... Jelly. Okay, so we're almost halfway to our goal. Ooh, I should be able to grab this. Uh, more attack speed. Okay, so we... Thirty, sixty, a hundred and twenty. So we should be plus one hundred and twenty percent attack speed already, with eight syringes because it's fifteen each. I think I did that maths correctly. Probably not. Don't have the cash for that, but I do see there's a printer over there, the chest over there. There's a health sacrifice there, and I could potentially get a. Ooh, I could potentially get something very nice from that, but that's going to be full of the wisp, but that's way too far. I will die if I run that distance and try and run back. What a horrible fucking place to be. Oh well. Turret, turret. Start. Listen to how much faster those turrets are. Okay, let's start leaning into... What else do I want right now? Uh, let's grab one more. Okay, so now we're 60% bleed. Now we're going to start focusing on the crit. Once the crit is there, then we can start focusing on stakes and uh, crowbars. So I just want to check something. Why the hell is my... It says my bitrate is at 6,097 kilobytes per second, which is fucking phenomenal, but it says the stream is unstable. Yeah, because that logic pans out, right? That's how that works. Yeah, makes sense. Makes a lot of fucking sense. Oh. Question. Do you all think I can bullshit this? Because that is pretty far but i want to get to it so if i put a turret over here and i stand in the damage do i out yes i out heal the damage so i'm going to run a bit further in place the turret down get my health back and then i'm going to run for it oh god no oh my holy shit wait wait why am i taking so much damage hold up hold up hold up oh no i'm about to die Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Fuck. Oh. Somebody needs to explain to me how that logic works. In the one, I'm able to out heal the damage. In the next one, I'm not. Sorry about that. We're starting over. God damn, that's irritating. That is really fucking irritating. Oh, 
right now everything's just gonna go into attack speed. We need to try to pick up the pace on damage output. That was fucking stupid. All because I wanted to be greedy and run for that one thing. So I learned. There's a lesson in there about greed. <laughs> I think after the third one, if it drops, I think this only costs 25. Where's this one goddamn enemy? There you are. Okay, give me that. You should be shooting a lot faster now. And Jaja, I hope you're happy. I died. <laughs> I still can't believe that did so much damage to me. The one turn I was out healing the damage. And the next time I tried to do it. Nah, fuck that noise. Attack speed. I need these turrets to be. Well, no, actually, let's go for some more bleed. We need to be some kind of status on it. That should be good. Two enemies remaining. I should be able to grab one. Yep, grab that. And we're going to go with another bleed chance. And then I'm going to try and grab the one that's just outside of the boundary. Enemies are stronger and numerous. I'm going to die. Yep, I fucked this. You can go right there. You can go right there. Keep my ass safe, pretty please. Okay, that actually saved me somewhat. First green upgrade we're getting is definitely going to be ukulele and then Wall of the Wisp. And I don't think there's any more chests for me to pick up within just like spitting distance. Wait, there is, there is. I'm risking it. I'm risking it. I need at least one fungus. Oh. God, that's painful.
At least now I can heal by standing in the center of the ship. That's so nice. There's one more fucking enemy hiding at the bottom. That's the only thing I don't like about this, is waiting for the enemies to show up. There we go. Go for this. Ukulele. Thank you. Ow, 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 ow. If I die like this, I'm going to be pissed off. I can't catch it. Lost half my fucking health just trying to get to it. We're gonna grab that. At least now we've got a missile launcher. And if we continue, we might be good. Because I can grab this. More speed. Got two chests over there. Oh, come on. Please put down over here somewhere. There's a chest there. There's two chests there. Please be nice. Please be nice. Oh, you absolute dick. It's fine. That's perfect. That that suits me just fine. Uh, let's start this. Still got the big chest there, and if I'm not mistaken, the size of this force field does allow me to access everything at the back of you as well. Yes, it does. It's just going to make it difficult to deal with all the enemies that spawn. So I might need to put turrets up here or something. Yeah, that's probably going to be safer. So I think first one, up here. See? Make life very easy for myself. Okay, let's start going to some more bleed. We've got 40% bleed. And then critical. Let's put the... We've got 12 seconds to wait before we can put down the next. There's a lunar coin. I will take that. Let's go see what the price of those other chests were around the corner. I don't think they're going to be 25 still. Oh, they are. That's phenomenal. Because now I can grab another attack speed. And we're definitely grabbing a gasoline at this point. Now I need 50 for the big one. And I'm hoping... God, I'm hoping that that can give me a red. Because those big ones do have a slight chance of dropping a legendary for you. And I think to be safe, we're just going to grab one more bleed. So we know that bleed is going to stack almost guaranteed. One in every two shots. I know it seems a bit stupid, but hopefully the new character that we unlock is a lot cooler. But we have to get to wave 40 first for that. So that's the goal for this evening. I know with the engineer it might not be the most entertaining gameplay, but it's it's still fun in its own right. And let's start with the criticals. I need seven more gold and then I can open up this chest. Come on, last two things. Last one. Last one. There we go. Only green. That's okay, it's still a Will of the Wisp. A Will of the Wisp is still massive. Upon death, things now explode. Well, there's a chance for them to explode. Causing damage to the things around them.
So while we try and survive this onslaught, one of the other onslaughts we've been dealing with is our followers. We got to 10 relatively quickly, and then we've been stagnant on 10 for quite a while. So I am again going to reach out to all of you guys to reach out to your own social media platforms, the groups of friend groups that you're in, and just help spread the word. And the more word of mouth there is, the more people there are. Hopefully the bigger attention that gets drawn to the channel, then hopefully we can grow. And now let me guess, these last two enemies are going to be hidden behind there. There we go. And let's go back to the... Yeah. you potentially... Yeah, I am. Almost... So besides the last two nights... Um, I have so far been streaming almost every single day for the last 30 days. chest oh it's another green oh that's lovely uh let's grab another ukulele nice and early no that'll actually be really really nice i really would appreciate that yeah it's normally from about half past nine the latest 10 o'clock every single night that's the times that i've been most consistent with like you can go back and have a look at all my past live streams and you'll see they all roughly started about that time Let me guess. Yep. One random enemy somewhere again. Oh, where's this one hiding? It's a good fucking question. Where is this enemy? Oh, he's down on this side. Okay, green, so if we can grab a second Will of the Wisp. That's actually not bad. Two ukuleles, two Will of the Wisps, 50% uh, bleed, six syringes, gasoline, and two crit. Not a bad foundation for us to move on to the next round with. And we dropped to four viewers. We got to six at least. So, GG. That's a new personal best. <laughs> We have any chests close by we've got a chest right on the border there a chest right outside the border over there we've got a chest deep into the thing so i don't think i'm going to do that and then two related so i should have about four chests somewhere close by so that's nice but they're about 64 each so hopefully our money our income generation starts kicking up and ramping up pretty soon and that's what's beautiful about that ukulele just distributing that damage to everything around us. So I'm going to put one over there. I'm going to try and keep a gap between the turrets. Yeah, it's perfect. That is perfect. Almost there, two more. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Let's grab another gasoline. And I need two more gold and I can open the next chest. And that's probably going to go for more attack speed. We don't want us to fall off on that attack speed. And now that that is done, we put down a new, new sentry. And a new sentry over there as well. 
Now we shoot faster and we've got the extra gasoline applying to the sentries. There's a flying whale. I've never noticed a flying whale or the floating trees. Well damn. Eh. Grab some more crit chance. So we're at a 40% crit chance. I want to get to about 70% crit chance. So it's almost guaranteed every shot. And then we can work more on everything else. But for now, this is looking good. See, now the bid rate is saying excellent and nothing's changed so yeah fuck knows what the hell is going on there let's grab this i'm gonna go for another crit and i think we're just gonna bite the bullet even though i wanted some more attack speed i think i'm just going to grab another crit rate and because a boss just spawned we're putting down the turrets again just to apply that additional crit Yeah, this engineer, if you get it set up right and you get it set up quickly, this engineer carries. And that's all because of this bullshit fact that these turrets get everything that I get. Match just should OP very quickly. Okay, so the question is, how quickly am I going to die if I run out of this? So run in there, grab it, and all I want to grab now is attack speed. Nice and quick. Fuck, 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 fuck. I need to run quickly. Um, shit. Let's grab that. Another tank bottle. Oh, no, it's my first tank. That with Will of the Wisp along with gasoline is going to be decent. Fuck, how did I not get that already? Hopefully run past another chest. I can pick up a free... Attack speed. I still want that, but I'm not going to get greedy this time and try and run for it. If I don't get it, I don't get it. If I get it, I get it. Okay, we're going over this, so I'm just as well going to fire it along. More attack speed. I got greedy last time and it fucked me. I'm on wave 15. I'm not even halfway. I've got five more waves to go and then I'm only halfway. I want that character. Never use it, so I want to see what it does. The Behemoth Legendary right now would do massive work. I see there's a chest right there, so that's pretty close by. Oh, if this is where you're going to chill, that's going to be kind of shit. Okay, we're gonna have to put all my turrets up here. Nope, that didn't work. The turret can't reach anything, so you're gonna go there. The attack speed on these turrets is nice, though. Okay, now let's take another fungus, get that healing up, put the other turret over there. One more crit, two more bleed, and the rest will then go into damage. Hopefully status effect.
The ukulele is the will of the worst, so I'm gonna do good, but I need to start getting health in there as well. And potentially seeing if I can't get some more turrets. I highly doubt it. Oh, fuck off. Did you really have to go up there? Um, more attack speed. 64 on the chest. That's good. Let's grab another crit. And then it's a little perimeter check to see if there's any more chests around you that I'm trying to work towards. There's a chest over there, but because we're so far in, I'm not risking going out of the circle. Not with how much damage we took last time. And the run ended because we got greedy. We seriously got no chests close by. I think it's time to replace the two sentries that I got. Speed is even faster, more of a critical and bleed chance. They should be carrying some decent weight now. I do want to test one theory though. There's this one item while this. Yeah, it's one item. Uh, I don't know what the hell it's called. I'll show you now. It basically gives you a small little buffer in a shield over your health for every kill that you get. Now, I'm wondering if they'll only apply to my turrets or if it will apply from my turrets to me. And that's going to be interesting to test. Okay, so it's not applying to me. It looks like it only applies to my turret. Okay, you know what? That's still fine. That just knows I mustn't waste anything further on that. There you go. So my missiles. And if there was targets, they would normally automatically track. But it looks like it fucked up this time because there was nothing to go for. Okay, so the 70% critical chance is there. I'm happy with that. Uh, one more into bleeding, and then we're going to start focusing on the crowbars. Crowbars, attack speed, and spores. There's another green. Now it looks like we're moving on as well. Question, what do I want to grab from here? I think the additional damage that comes from the... Uh, these fucking things is good. Slowing enemies might be decent as well. Treasure is useless for me right now. This won't help me either because I'm not going to be traveling very far. The missiles might be very good as well. Shuriken or missiles? I'm not sure which one. Let's go with... Missiles. Wave 20, we are officially halfway. Okay, so we're going to start this. I'm going to hide in a corner. You're going to go there. You're going to cover it opposite. And let's go. A hundred and thirty per chest. Okay, it's getting expensive. Hundred and fifty six with a green. Purple will be roughly about the same price. I think I need to move this one to yeah. Now I've got a fair spread across the battlefield. Okay, I said we're gonna grab one more of these. 70% bleed, that's fine. 70% crit, that's fine. 
Now we're going to grab one more gasoline and then one more, two more funguses. Funguses? Fungi? Rip into that. Get that shit. And then... Mm, let's grab the fungus first. Because this is about to drop on for us as well. There we go. And now we're going to start with the crowbars. Deal bonus damage to enemies above 90 health. So part with the, so that paired with the critical damage. Means that our first hits, if we've got enough of those crowbars, should be almost a one hit kill. If we get the crowbars high enough, balance that with the critical damage. Okay, let's grab one more crowbar. Grab another crowbar. Should start hitting nicely at this point. Oh, yes. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I like it. And if we stand still inside the circle... Yeah, we're getting about 13 heals per second. Right, let's pop that open. We're definitely grabbing another missile. And grabbing one more. Uh, actually, let's not grab another speed. The faster we shoot, the happier I am. Ow, ow. The health has also gone up quite a bit. If we grab like two or three stakes, we should get a certain percentage upgrade as well. And if you notice, the circles around the turrets are also getting bigger. Cash ain't a problem. Boxes, different story. So I don't see any additional boxes. Not that I can access relatively easily though. There's two out that way, but I will die if I hit out there. Okay, you know what? Now we can start going shurikens as well. No, shurikens are only for the primary, this... Okay, I might have just learned something. Because my turrets are not primary damage, it won't throw the shurikens, or does it refer to the thing that has got the abilities primary damage? Just to be safe, we're gonna grab another rocket. Got a 3D printer. I hope this thing doesn't go too far. Like, I physically can't go off this edge. Your ass better be put down right here. Oh, your ass is up there. That. Oh, no. Um... I think we're fucked, to be honest with you, eh? I honestly think we're fucked, because we need to get all the way up there. That means I have to run. No, it's up there. I need to run through the damage all the way up. Oh, fuck. Um, let's test this. If I put this down, and another one. 
I want to see how long I stand here and see if this damage completely outheals it. Because what happens is I might need to move little by little until I can put down both turrets. But that at least means that I have to wait 21 seconds to be able to put down both turrets so that I survive. But I don't know if this damage just keeps scaling because I see it's 25, it ticks 26, 27. That's a problem. So the damage just keeps increasing and increasing. So it's going to get to a point where I won't be able to out. Let's see if it resets if I go in here. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, so it does reset. Okay, I don't have a choice. I'm just going to have to sprint it. Oh, no. Oh, fuck off. Nope. That's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Oh, I call so much bullshit on that. That is not even funny. The fact that that fucking thing spawned above me. So that means I couldn't start the event. I couldn't do... Okay. I call bullshit on that. And all this is happening is because I want to get that character. Drag below. Escape the planetarium or complete wave 50 in the similar... I don't know what the planetarium is. I think it might be one of the other game modes. Prismatic trials. Stacking challenge modifies each time you beat the game. Compete in a fixed seed challenge with other players online. No. Hold on. Let me check something quickly. Two seconds. Wait, what is the... Simlarkum? What do I need for this fucker? Planetarium or complete wave 40? <sighs> Planetarium is an alternate final stage environment introduced in the Survivors of the Void expansion. The Planetarium can be accessed by clearing all of the Deep Void signals within the Void Locus and entering the Deep Void portal. Alternatively, by petting the Glass Frog. On commencement, 10 times after defeating Mithrix. Fuck no. That's not happening. That's kind of bullshit, though. So, I think I might have a solution for it, but it is going to mean I'm going to require a lot more skill. <laughs> and that's the Huntress. Because the Huntress has got an ability that might make it worthwhile for me to actually go out and get all those chests that I don't have. So first of all, you'll see that she's faster. But obviously, she's not going to have the benefit of the turrets. So I think this is going to be my last attempt. If I don't get it on this, we'll... We'll try again another night. At least hopefully this team has been entertaining. So one of the first things that I need upgrade-wise off of this bitch is attack speed, bleed. So the reason why I like her is for this. So I can run out, grab something quickly, and then dash back in. She could potentially end up saving my life for this shit. But it's trying to get past that initial curve of not dying. Almost instantly.
Hopefully this can be my saving grace and we can get to wave 40. And the reason why I said she's going to be good is because, check, one of these magazines gives me an additional shift. No, wrong one. Fuck. Oh, what do I need then? No, don't tell me I need the legendary to be able to do it. I might need the legendary to be able to have more than one dash. Shit. Okay. Well, it still means I'll be able to dash. I can run in, grab what I need to, and then dash back out. Because I can't rely on the upgrades I'm getting from this alone. I will die if I do that. Nope, still can't afford that. Our legendary would be amazing. Let's get... Let's get some bleed. And I need a ukulele as soon as I possibly can because I need this shit to start spreading. So now, for example, I can run into the void, grab the thing that I need to, it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker, grab a ukulele, but then dash back in. So all of them are the same to choose from, uh, but how you implement them differs from character to character. So on some characters, like attack speed is a lot more important versus other characters. But yeah, the chests are all the same. Oh, what bullshit is this? Oh, there's a chest down there. Damn, traversal is now going to be easier because now I see there's a chest there, there's a chest there. So I can actually just dash around. So now I've got the cash for the next one. Definitely want that attack speed. And if I'm not mistaken, I think some of them start with certain perks to them. For example, I think the Huntress naturally does bleed. I'm guessing I could be wrong on all of this. I could be grasping at complete straws. Okay, I did. Oh, what's that? What's that? Please tell me that's something good. Um, yes, fungus. This fungus means as I sprint, I heal. So now I don't need to worry about um standing still to heal. Yes. Whenever I sprint now, I heal. Yeah, no, there's so many combos that you can build. It's actually pretty fucking awesome. And remember, I'm just showing you what the basic items are. You get items like what those purple ones that I just picked up that applies modifiers. So as you read here, it corrupts it. So, so normally the fungus, like what I had on the turrets, if you stand still, you start healing. This, um, that purple item corrupted it so that it instead of standing still i now heal when i sprint there's 
There's a whole bunch of chests around. But with this, healing is going to be important as well. I'm definitely going to have to get flat damage um, negation because I don't have a shield. And potentially a barrier and a shield as well. But there's quite a couple of chests here. There's four chests over here. There's a couple of chests on the other side. If I do this well, I should be able to get a decent amount of upgrades from this. Oh yeah, you definitely can. And then obviously, for this girl, movement speed is very important. Yeah, the Huntress for a very long time was my favorite character. So we're going to do that. We're going to grab a bit more attack speed. Try and save myself by doing that. Obviously, you can see that with her, it's, it's a lot more of a hands-on playstyle. Meaning, if you fuck up, it's probably going to be your own fault. There's a whole bunch of chests here for me to use. More hectic with this. Yeah, a lot more hectic. Uh, let's grab some bleed. I need to get bleed and critical damage sorted out very quickly on this. If I fall behind on that, I'm going to struggle. Because I can't have the thing survive for too long. And you see how useful that dash is. That bleed stacking nice and quickly and that attack speed and luckily the cooldown on the dash is only i think six seconds i can't remember if we can make that cooldown faster or not uh. I know there is an ability, but it's a legendary. It almost looks like a little jetpack, and it allows multiple. Um... Fuck, I don't know if I'm remembering the right thing or if I'm missing something completely. So we want some more bleed. Please don't move. Yeah, with the Huntress, everything is about movement speed. Moving, moving, moving. The more you're moving, the less you can get hit. Attack speed. Looking nice and smooth. Uh, that is not what I wanted, so I wasted a pickup over there, but it's okay. Now we're gonna get a free green and hold on. What I need? I need a. I've got a ukulele, I've got a will of the wisp. I need this. Dealing damage heals you. My ass needs to survive. 
Are we looking for anything? Am I missing an enemy? Oh, portal. I got just about every chest. There's one chest that I missed. That's okay. So this ar arena that I'm in right now, this is technically where you fight the boss. So I'm honestly not excited being here for this because of that shit. Yes. Now, quickly, while I can. What are you going to give me? Uh, what I want, what I want, what I want. Critical. There's a 0.5 chance that I gain. Nice. That's good. That's good. I like it. I like it. I like it. So how do I explain this one? So remember the glasses um, gives me a 10% chance to become a critical hit. This corruption, what it ended up doing was changing it from a 10% chance to get a critical hit to a 0.5 chance to instantly kill a non-boss character. So if I stack enough glasses now, I'll one hit kill everything. But that means I'm going to have to focus on glasses like a fuck ton. Yeah. Some of the modifiers are really nice. And that's not even um, talking about the Luna. Um, the Luna modifiers. The Luna modifier, there's one that you become a glass cannon. So you only get like 10% of your health. But you do 500% more damage. So let's start grabbing some glasses. You see, and now you see in the top there. It's now, I don't have just one of those corrupted glasses. I've now got two. So now I've officially got a 1% chance of doing instant kill. Yes, very much so. Uh, ew, that hurts a lot. Okay, so let's do this. Let's grab another gasoline. Actually, I don't have a utility yet. I need to think about grabbing utility at some point. It's expensive though, but that's okay. I think I've got enough, yep, 64. We're gonna grab the bleed. Okay, so my bleed is up to 60% now, so I'm good on bleed for now. Grab some, oh my god, I, okay, that was stupid. Please die, please die, please die. Thank you, your mom. Just by the way, your mom. Okay, that's him dead. Is there another one? Pop this chest. I need feathers. Wait, which one? Is it this one? Was it that? Oh, 
But I need to just double check that. I think I might have fucked that as well. I think I might have wait just wasted that. What does this do? Um, hold an additional equipment charge. Fuck, that was additional. So it is the legendary that I need. Well, you know what? Then let's just grab a. Let's grab a piece of equipment. I can't remember what all of them do. So we're just gonna rock the one that I do now. Missile launcher. Let me grab that. Let me grab a feather. Because a feather allows us to bounce in the air. I don't have the money for that shit. Don't go too far, please. Like, bunk down, like here somewhere. That would be nice because there's four chests right there. Please, please, please stay. Oh fuck you, then. God damn! How far are you gonna go away from those things? There we go. Okay, and let's start straight away. I'm gonna get into a fight. Or not. Here's one of those. Let's grab one more of those. Okay, we need to seriously start thinking about survivability. So this is what I was talking about. If something's deep in there, I can run to it. Grab it once I've got it. Dart back. It's potentially gonna make my survivability a lot more. I need to grab more funguses. Okay, I think my I think my attack speed is fine for now. I want to grab another fungus so that I heal more when I sprint. Uh, 68 that should be enough for a chest yeah let's run grab it grab just one more attack speed okay now we're gonna start on the survivability a bit just four more chests out there Another ukulele would be good. Uh, let's grab this. One more bleed, 70%. I've got the cash for it. I'm going to risk it. Actually, no, let's kill some shit first. Uh, let's dart to it. Pop you open. Perfect. Ukulele. get to that that's not fire uh what do you want okay we want to start with the mirrors in a temporary barrier whenever i kill something over my health you'll see it on the bottom left i get a little gold bar it goes away quickly but the more things i kill and that's why the ukuleles and will of the wisps are going to be so important the more i kill the bigger that gold bar gets and i almost get a second life bar that floats over the top and then to counter the quick loss of that I want to get the blue shield. The blue shield adds just a shield on top of a shield for my health. Okay, I think while that guy's busy dying over there, I'm going to sprint to this one. Grab this. Uh, what I want. Put a movement speed. That's okay. Coin. 
gonna grab a, another crossbow. And that's why the hunters can be so fun. Okay, we still got a chest out there, so grab that. We're going to grab another one of those. And then throw it back. I think that's going to be big. We're going to be able to access chests that in the past, like for example with the engineer we couldn't get to because our asses were too goddamn slow. Like there's another chest out there. Grab this. Let's grab another one of those. Jump in and we're back. I'm potentially going to want to start getting teddy bears out as well. First things first, we've got two ukuleles. I want another Will of the Wisp. And then we move on. Now it should be a lot more hectic because we're not in that exclusive zone, meaning we're going to have a lot of en more enemies spawning now. So now you can see the advantages of that gold bar at the bottom. The more of those mirrors we have, the bigger that circle gets. Uh, the circle, the bigger that coverage gets. And that is why moving around with this build is so important. Remember what this does. Gain gold on taking damage. Wow, that's not gonna fucking help me at all. Wish I could redo that. I just stop fucking around and just grab the mirrors. I know I need the mirrors and the shields. Mirrors, 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 mirrors. And let's start grabbing teddy bears as well. So teddy bears a chance to block incoming damage completely. Thirty, hundred and fifty-six, hundred and fifty-six. Okay, I need to start getting some cash, and that's why the ukulele is so powerful. One hit and it transfers to all of them when you're able to proc it. There goes my missiles. We should have the cash for this up, nope, still not. Can't get that one, I can get this one. I'm gonna grab another teddy bear. Grab another mirror. And we're already past wave 20. How much faster was that because we're not sitting around waiting for the engineer? Now 
Yeah. I need one more wave and then I'm perfectly halfway. End of this wave, I'll be halfway. One more enemy to kill. Grab another barrier. And you see how big the gold the gold thing actually becomes over my health right now. Like, look when I start killing. Look how big that gold thing gets. Look at my health. City being. Please be red, please be red. Fuck you, my red. Um what I want from this, yes, 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 no, yes, um, I don't know what I want from this thing, I don't know what's going to be most important for me right now, uh, I'll take another one of those, because that allows me to jump off places, dodge around, another green and i think with that we are going to take let's take the rockets and now i don't have to worry about this thing fucking off to a higher level and not going somewhere that i can reach because i can actually follow it now Grab another missile. I want to test this. This might be a red. Nope, wasn't a red. That's okay. We'll take another ukulele. Don't have the money for that. And now just the sprinting. As you can see, I'm getting my health back. So I'm going to want to focus on some teddy bears now. We're looking good, we're looking good. I need to get to that guy. Anything up here that I want? Uh, actually, there's a chest over here, there's a chest over there, but I want what's down there right now. Uh, I'm going to throw in some more attack speed quickly. Should have enough cash to grab this one. This is gonna give me some more field. This one is gonna give me another teddy bear. We are looking good.
and do next. Let's grab a bit more bleed. Bleeds on 80%. Let's grab a bit more attack speed. Maybe grab one or two gasolines. We've got five teddies and five. Those. Look, I still haven't run out of gold yet. And as you can see, as I kill, that gold over my health just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And let's go. can actually start saying fuck that. Nah, actually, we'll stick, grab the gasoline, like I said. That way it spreads to everybody better. That I want to get rid of first. That's a boss. I'm hiding from that laser. is dead. You should see the difference in the playstyle between the engineer and the huntress. from here. I think more healing while doing damage might be good for me. And we're going on to wave 30. 10 more ways to go. Yeah, very, very much the opposite. They play completely different. Every single character has got a unique playstyle. And that's what I like about this game. Is that yes, all the skills you're choosing are, are the exact same. But it's how they combine with one another that makes a difference. attack speed because my attack speed is starting to fall off i'm gonna grab two of those i need a legendary just one fucking legendary i need chests that that's gonna give me a third one now I'm gonna be able to use my second ability three times as you can see my life is still not perfect and that's the problem so I think now I need to start on the start on the flat damage so that should receive a flat damage reduction from all attacks if I can stack that high enough that will go down as far as one Meaning if you stack enough of those things, the most damage you'll ever receive from a single target is one. 
but I don't know what constitutes a full stack. I need chests, I need chests, I need chests. Because I need a lot of these damage reduction things. Because I feel like somewhere I'm going to take a hit that's going to fuck me. And then I also need to try and remember. Nope, that's going to kill me. You see, one hit that I took there, look how much damage it did. I have to remember what these do. Deal extra damage to bosses. Okay. It's something. I need to get my teddy bears and my shield up. I think my damage is fine. I think the thing that right now I'm worried about is getting hit by something hard just once. Uh, I get fucked. Maybe some three or four gasolines might do me well. It's a possibility this might be good, depending on what it gives me. Uh... I can't fucking remember what the teddy bear does, so screw it, let's test it. Block the next source of damage, corrupts all tougher items. Maybe good, maybe bad, maybe I just killed myself. I know I'm doing like a lot of risking right now, but I need to. So I'm not worried right now because I know I can get up there pretty easily. I just run, heat, and while I'm up here, throw everything, dump through, and start shooting like a motherfucker. And watch everything just start dying. Potentially including me. Do you have any idea what just happened on the screen there? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to bother running to go get those four things because they're going to die relatively easily. What I am going to do is try and get to this. Which is going to give me another one of those shields. Meaning I'm good. Oh, fuck. Um, I might have fucked up. I'm gonna have to try and catch that as soon as possible. Dump up. Thank you. You see? And that is why I went to the Huntress. And look at all the chests that are around me at the moment. Once she settles, I've got 1,900 cash. I can run around and potentially get quite a few upgrades before I have to start the next round. I just need to remember that on this pillar, there's two. On that ledge, there's three. I've got 1,900. There's one right there. If this thing puts down in a reasonable spot, I might be able to get a fuck ton of upgrades. Up there, back that way. Come on, just sit down. I 
I'm gonna grab this. See what I can get. Let's grab the other one. Corrupts all daggers. Oh, chance to collapse enemies on it. So I no longer do bleed damage. I just fucked up potentially. Ah, yeah, there's a very good possibility that I just fucked up. Right at the end, I got five waves to do. And I'd love to know where this thing is running off to because, I mean, we're fucking miles from anything at the moment. There's some chests over here, at least. Uh, let's grab some more. Light damage. Let's grab this, let's grab that. This one we're gonna go attack speed. This one we're gonna go more bleed chance and back in because i heal when i sprint i just need to run around in a circle and i'll get my health back and i really hope i didn't fuck myself now with that decision let's grab another teddy bear and let's do this oh god ow i don't apply any bleed anymore at all i'm worried i'm worried i'm worried i'm worried i'm worried I am really fucking worried. I'm gonna be very pissed off if I fucked myself over from getting the ending. Just fucked up, but it's fine. Keep taking it. I need to get more damage out of something else then. Where's boxes? I need boxes. That's one. That's two. I need attack speed. I'm trying to play so carefully, hoping that I didn't fuck up something. important gasoline that's the one i wanted to get get the fourth gasoline come on wave 37 let's go Is, uh, what's going to be most important? Um, uh, gasoline again. Because the moment one dies, it sets the other one alight.
Come on, come on, one more enemy. I got one more wave to survive. One more wave, come on. Uh, I'm gonna go shield. Are you fucking serious? Come on, die, 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 die. You guys did. Don't be stupid, don't be overzealous, don't get cocky. Just focus on what's on your screen. Oh, no, I'm not dealing with your shit to take. I've got four enemies. Four enemies, that's it. Fuck yes. Oh no, I need to go to wave 50. Fuck, I forgot it was wave 50, not wave 40. Okay, 10 more waves. 10 more waves, we got this. 10 more waves, we got this. Um, I want another feather. 10 waves, we got this. We got this, we got this. 10 waves. Fuck, I was convinced it was wave 40. Okay, it's okay. Need attack speed. The faster we attack, the faster we stack. Okay, and we're gonna go for some flat reduction. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna go for another gasoline. what the fucking waves look like. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. It's okay. I didn't mean to quite go that far, but it works for me. I need to start stacking these glasses. Definitely not terrifying. Definitely not fucking butt clenching. Uh, glasses. Ow, oh, that nearly fucked me. As long as I'm killing, I get my shields up. Which is the most important part. If I ain't killing, I lose all of that. So I think I need to start thinking about a shield as well. Gain a recharging shield. And so I've got health, shield, and a top area that spawns.
have some more shields. <sighs> now, can you imagine trying to do this on completely random? That's a boss, that's a boss, that's a boss. Please die, please die, please die, please die, please die. Thank you. Can you complete, imagine doing this on completely random, like, equipment? And there are people that do it. Defeat 500 elite enemies, the guillotine. That's a big thing. It's not the thing that I wanted, but it is a big thing. Those guys aren't dying, those guys aren't dying. God fucking damn, okay. Okay, I need to seriously get another ukulele. I need this shit to spread a lot faster than it's been doing. Five more waves, five more waves. And I've got over 6,000 cash. So I think what I'm going to do is, when this thing stops, wherever the fuck it is, I'm going to spend some time trying to get as many chests as I can. I need another one of the wisp, for sure. It. It's potentially a red. It's potentially a red. It's not a red. We'll take it. Okay, what else is around you? Those ones I can get because that'll be within the circle. What's around you that I can't get to because of the circle? You know what? I'm gonna heal myself up and we're just gonna take it from you. I don't know what the hell I chose there. Rapidly heal outside of danger. Well, that's useless. Because it's just permanent danger. Definitely chose the wrong skill there. Now the green one. We're going to go with another ukulele. At this point, I just need to spread the damage as much as I can between whoever I can. Just like that. Let's go with more attack speed. I feel like my attack speed is falling off a bit. Pop the missiles. Find all the targets. Thank you. Okay. okay, let's go with more crowbar damage. <sighs> almost there, almost there, almost there. Fuck, this is insane. Two more waves, that's all I need.
Okay. Uh, let's grab some more glasses. Almost there. Come on. Almost there. I nearly got killed. If I was caught in that cold, that cold explosion, I would have died. Almost guaranteed. Come on, we've got this. Don't be stupid. Think it through. Plan your actions. Okay, I see we're down to two viewers. Bosses have been dealt with, that's good. Now we need to survive the onslaught of the Beetle Gods. Come on, this is the last wave. We need to survive this. Fuck. Yes. G. G. Motherfuck. I don't care what happens at this point. I think I might just kill myself on this point permanently. Oh, permanently increase maximum health up to 100. Oh, where does this go? Is there another portal for me to go through? Does this just continue? Does this mean I'm done? Did I do it? And I've already got... Oh, for fuck's sake. God. Damn, that was insane. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. No, fuck this. I'm not doing this any further. I'm purposely going to kill myself right now by just going into the deepest part of the void that I can. Nope, I'm not doing that shit again. Just going to make it even faster for myself to kill. Take away 50% of my health. Teleport around. Fuck around and die. Thank you. What a way to end the run. It is ridiculous. Well, let's have a look. So, uh, I spent an hour and 38 minutes alive. So, long ass session. 1,634 kills. Died once. Dealt 3.3 million damage. Uh, damage taken, 18,000. Gold collected, 31,000. 123 items collected and 61 items purchased. We got monster logs on quite a bit, but this is what I wanted. So cut down was obviously good. That's really, really nice. And then this, the drag below. I've never played as that character. So that was a definite for me to try and get. So let's have a look what it looks like. Oh, Ooh, hold on. Hold on. So the thing that we unlocked is the guillotine. It's over here. Now... A quick way to quickly find out what the Gideon does is we just go to a run. We just select this. I'm definitely trying this motherfucker because that just sounds amazing. And we're just going to do this quickly. Oh, that's cool. So there's the character we got. Looks badass. Okay, so I want to get some cash because all I need to do is just get the money, enough money for one green item. What happens when I reach 100%? 
Oh my god, okay. I'm in love. There's a green item and we want the guillotine. Instantly kill low level health enemies. Okay, this guy's fucking badass. Okay, that's pretty cool. And the starting health ain't bad either. Movement speed ain't bad. Starting health ain't bad. It'll be interesting to see how much attack speed affects. Oh, so I can keep him in this ability if I want to. I just gotta keep pressing R. If I've got charges for it. That's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. And you damn straight imagine with all the upgrades what this guy would do. So it looks like by standing still, I automatically like overclock, if you want to call it that. Once I overclock, I then go into my alternate mode. Once I've overclocked, I can then do that. I can then use the flames. I can then dash forward. And it looks like if I'm running low, but I want to stay in this form, I just press R. And it pushes that percentage up a little bit more so I can use it for longer. Okay. Oh yeah, well, let's actually just quickly go and kill myself. It's going to be easy if I just quit. Thank you. Okay, logbook. So now that we've actually picked it up for once, we can actually read the details of this. So instantly kill elite monsters below 13% health. 13% per stack. Now that... That's interesting. So it's 13 below 13% health per stack. What consists of a stack? Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? Because it doesn't mean if I carry four stacks, I'm going to be almost instant killing anything under 50% health. Yeah, and that's why the guillotine is so awesome. But let me just double check something. Um, old. Uh, Let's go brain two. Um, the threshold at which it will activate is determined by the formula of fx equals y over one, whatever. Fuck off. In short, it basically just says that if I've got ten of these, ten guillotines. I will instantly kill any monster. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I think I'm misunderstanding this. Artificer and Cosmos Paul. An enemy executed by the health pill threshold will guard and continue to hold deal damage to, to it. Only the holder can execute the enemy. Enemies cannot be executed. The item can be particularly useful for accurate if using poison. The old guillotine is one of the few items in the game with hyperbolic stacking. What the fuck does that mean? Um, 24 old guillotines are required to overcome the bonus health of tier 1 elite enemies. Blazing, overloading, clarification, perfection, and 131 are needed to overcome the health of a bonus tier elite 2 enemies. 
like you're ever going to pick up 131 of these things. Um... It'll take between a hundred. Hold up. So it looks like if I've got 10 of these guillotines. Execute threshold is 20% per stack. It's 13% per stack. Add a new item law. Bug fixes. Fuck. Okay, I've got no idea how the fuck this thing works. I don't know if it's if I... Stick your enemies below 13%. So the way I understand it is that it will automatically kill enemy any enemy under 13%, but it's a percentage chance of doing it. So if I carry 10 of these guillotines, I will have a 56% chance of killing a monster under 13% health. Okay, that seems to be a bit more balanced. That seems to be a lot more balanced. And there's some things I want to double check over here. For example, um... Killing enemies has a 7% chance of spawning a ghost. Okay, so I know the mask. Gain the power of the killed elite monster for 8 seconds. I've seen that one. This makes my critical strike deals an additional 100% damage. Okay, so. You see, that's what I thought as well. I would have been like, well, that's fucking OP. So it looks like the 13% is the base number that does not change. Collecting more of them just increases your chances. Of guaranteeing that kill below 13%. Okay. So, if you have a look on the screen over here at the moment. The blacked out ones are ones that I've already unlocked. I just haven't picked them up. Which is bullshit because I had teddy bears in the last round. But I'm guessing the um, that special event that I did didn't count towards picking them up for the first time. The ones that are still locked are items that I still do not have access to. Um, some of these things like discover the hidden chamber in the abandoned aqueduct. No fucking idea where that is. Complete the prismatic trial. That's a PvP thing, so I highly doubt I'm going to get that. Activate six turrets in a single run. I should be able to do that. I just need to find six turrets. Charge the teleporter with less than 10% health. That might be possible if I do the beetle. I think it's the beetle. One of these blue items um, makes it so my health is 10%. But I would need to find one of them first. So this is the item that I was looking for so much. This is why I wanted the legendary so badly. This is the hard light afterburner. So adds a plus two charge to your utility skill. So if you've got two of these on your Huntress, it means you can dash four times without needing to reset. And so you can imagine on something like a prismatic trial, sorry, not a prismatic trial, the one that we did. So you can imagine it's... You see, now that's just it. I have not been able to test it to see if it actually applies to turrets. I would hope so. I would think so. Because, I mean, if, the, if it means you can pick up like... But remember, this is a legendary drop. So you're only going to find one or two of these per run. Or from a very specific level where there's a guarantee to get it, but you have to pay like almost... It depends on what, what how long it takes you to get there, but it could be anything from 1,000 to like 2,000 gold. To unlock the chest. And there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Like fully upgrade a shrine of the woods. Fuck knows what that means. Die 20 times. I'm surprised I have not died 20 times yet. No false stats. Okay. 
Uh, I think this is me right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm, is this me? Yes, Engineer, Huntress, and Railgunner. So obviously, the most wins I've had. Oh my god, look at that. They're perfectly balanced. 33, 33, 33. Between the Engineer, the Huntress, and the Railgunner. <laughs> yeah, so the longest run I've done was the 61 minutes. That's the run we just did. The reason why I don't ever go past 8 stages is because that's normally where you obliterate yourself and you technically end the run on purpose. Highest level I've achieved is this level 22. How many deaths have I had? Deaths. 16. Huh. I need to die four more times. Wait, can I cheese this? So I will unlock something special over here if I die 20 times, right? Oh yes, not very easily. Just do this. Put it on monsoon difficulty. I really like this character. Come on, smack me, smack me, smack me, smack me. Thank you. That's one death. I'm gonna fuck up my stats right now, but we're doing this for his skills. I still love that. Come, on, smack me. Thank you. Two more times. And you guys are not going to do enough damage. I need something that's going to actually touch me okay one more I don't even know what I'm unlocking I'm not going to be able to really test it because I have to unlock it, then find it out in the open world. And it's probably going to be a utility item. And I'm not the biggest fan of utilities. There's a big rock. Well, that works, I guess. That's true. Okay. So, die 20 times. I love dying. Some kind of voodoo doll. What the fuck does that mean? Now, let's quickly switch over to a class that's quick. Let me show you the little doggy that I unlocked earlier on. Oh, so for example, every single build has got loadouts. So it's got secondaries to everything. For example, on the... Which one have I actually got a... So for example, on the engineer, instead of having the shield, you get thermal harpoons. So it launches heat-seeking harpoons missiles that deal 500% damage each, and you can store up to four of them if you don't want the shield. And if I'm not mistaken... The second ability for the turrets is the turrets actually run around with you. They move. I 
can't remember what this was. And for every single one, it's got a different color scheme. But in order to get the color scheme, you have to obliterate yourself. So that means reach stage 8 on Monsoon difficulty. But let's just quickly take, um, we take the Huntress. And let's see if we can't quickly find ourselves a... I think so we can get the the utility. I guess the only side effect is trying to find And there's not always one in per stage, so I'm hoping I can find one. Well, there's a green, so let's take the one that we know does so much damage. And let's just keep looking for a little thing on the ground. So the thing I'm looking for is something that's going to look a lot like that, it's just orange. I highly doubt we normally get them this early on. That's all we're doing for, we're just looking for utility. We just want to see what that voodoo doll thing is that we picked up. I suppose I could Google it, but I mean, what's the fun in that? Uh, that's another green one, so let's just grab the ukulele. My people are supposed to be just need to Google it because I highly doubt. I think it actually takes a while before you come across your first utility items. Sacrifice some health for money. <laughs> you know what, fuck it. Go to main menu. We're not gonna sickle with that for too long. I think what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna go over here. I'm gonna bring up the details of what it actually is. Uh, let's go right into Voodoo Doll. I can't spell voodoo to save my life. Okay, so what this item does is, by description alone, uh, throws a curse doll that repeatedly triggers you, triggers your on kill effect. Throws a cursed doll out that triggers any on kill effect you have every one second for eight seconds what on kill that makes no fucking sense 
I would need 11 fuel cells, fuel cells for this thing to be a permanent effect. Fuck knows. Okay. However, I actually think that is where I am going to call it for the night. It has been a nice, long, successful stream. We have been going for 3 hours and 35 minutes. I am very happy with the amount of viewers we have had here in for the evening. Didn't get any new followers, but hey, the viewers were there. I really appreciate it. We got up to a personal base of 6. I know it doesn't sound like a lot for some of you, but for somebody who's starting out fresh, it's progress. So, from my side, thank you very much for everybody that joined the stream it really does mean a lot again i'm going to remind you that all of my past live streams does get posted to my youtube channel so go subscribe showing some love over there would also be really really nice of you when it comes to the main channel for the twitch reach out to friends reach out to family share it on your social media let's try and spread the word let's try and get this channel to grow and if you want to be part of a community there is a link to a discord in my about page you can go to the discord you can go Join the family, come talk shit, come post. We are still busy working on it, so there are going to be some changes made. But it's a place where we can gather outside of the videos. I hope you have a lovely day and or evening, depending on where you are from. Look after yourselves, be safe. And Raj, thank you very much for joining. I do appreciate it. And to everybody else, good night.